Okay, so here we've got um, a 3T coordinate grid and we must remember that 3T coordinates um, go in the order the X coordinate, the Y coordinate and then the Z coordinate. So what do they want? They want to write down the coordinates of the vertex F. So it's a journey to get to F and we always start at the origin. It's the uh, quickest way of uh, getting there. So let's have a look. We go on the outside of the cuboid here to there. So that has a X coordinate of 8. Um, to get to F we then came along this one here which is parallel to this one and if we look and go along here we can find out that the Z direction can be given by this 2. So we know the Z coordinate is 2 and we've come up here so we now know that we're on the top of the box and again when we look at a coordinate on the top of the box we can see that the Y is 3 so that was going to be 3, that was going to be 2 and this was going to be 8. So to get to F we went 8 along, 2 to the Z and then 3 on the Y. The second part of the question wants us to work out the midpoint of the segment AE so midpoint um, of the coordinates, always have the two coordinates and then halve it, so let's have a look. So A has coordinates, well, let's see what the journey is to A, well they've already told us, it's 8, 0, 0. And E has coordinates, well again, they've been generous, they've just told us it's 0, 3, 2. To find the midpoint of these two coordinates, the quickest way is add up the coordinates, so 8 and 0 is 8, 0 and 3 is 3, 0 and 2 is 2 and then divide that by 2, so we share each of the coordinates by 2 to end up with 4, 1 and a half, 1. So that will be the midpoint of the segment AE. So literally if we were going from A to E then the midpoint would be at 4, 1 and a half, 1. Which makes sense really, just go halfway along there, come halfway along there and then up halfway. So we ended up at half of eight is four, half of two, oh sorry, half of three is one and a half, and half of two is one. So that'll be correct.